Hello everybody, it is I, Sakamoto, and we are playing Deltarune for the first time. Uh, I've never played this, I don't even really know anything about it, I've avoided seeing, did my best to avoid seeing anything about this game for the longest time because I didn't want spoilers, so I know like next to nothing about any of this, about what we're going to experience. I didn't watch anybody else play it or anything, so this is going to be fun. It should be fun. It looks like it's going to be fun. Um, based on what little I have seen and do know, and I hear all these good things about this game. So anyways, let's just get right into it. Would you like to start from chapter one? Yes, of course. Um, are you... there? Are we... connected? Excellent. Truly excellent. Now, <clears throat> we may begin. First, You must create a vessel. It's like the head that you prefer. Oh, uh, my controller doesn't work for this game. Oh well. Guess we're using the keyboard. Uh, these are all really nice heads. Let's go with this one. Select the torso that you prefer. Okay, we got jacket, 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 t-shirt, jacket. Um, let's go with that one, I think. Uh, none of, the, none of the legs have matching lips. Okay. What's the difference between these two? Uh, right, I guess we'll go with legs number three, yeah! This is your body. Yeah, that jacket looks really warm and thick, so yeah. Excellent. Do you accept? Yes, excellent. You have created a wonderful form. Now, let us shape its mind as your own. What is its favorite food? Sweet, soft, sour, salty, pain, cold. What the flip? Did dip it? Yeah, let's go with sweet. Your favorite blood type? Uh, random. Cause I don't even know my own blood type. But let's just go with A B. What color does it like most? Red, blue, green, cyan, which is like a turquoise. Let's go with red. Please give it a gift. Kindness, mind, ambition, bravery, voice. Well, in Undertale, we chose kindness, um, basically. Let's go with mind. How do you feel about your care creation? Well, not here. Love, hope, disgust, fear. Go to live. Have you answered honestly? Yeah! I think so. Acknowledge the possibility of pain and seizure. Yeah! Totally! Understood. Name your vessel. Um, we're gonna go with Kion from Haruhi Suzumiya. We called it Kion. And what about the creator? Where's the K? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sakamoto. That's me. Sakamoto. Excellent. Truly excellent. I think you said that earlier. 
Sakamoto. Thank you for your time, your answers, your wonderful creation. Uh, what the heck was that? Will now be discarded. No one can choose who they are in this world. Your name is Chris. Chris, if we do not wake up, we will be late for school. I will wait outside for you, alright? Uh... What the hell? I'm so confused. What the heck? Why did you make me go through all that stuff for no reason? It's a computer desk. There are many boxes under it filled with old books. There are CDs under the bed. Classical, jazz, religious, ska. There's also a game console. It has one normal controller and one knockoff one. Yep, my controller's not working. Damn, it sucks. The drawer is almost mostly empty except for a school cross-country shirt with a tear in it. It's a beautiful day outside. Clothes drawer. Your bed. Red wagon with a rusty bird cage in it. Looks like it's seen quite a few crashes. Um. Okay. And there's another bed here. Interesting. Interesting. There are crayons in the drawer. Their labels have long faded, and there's no green. It's only you. Look at me. I'm in the mirror. Wee. A cactus. There's not much to say about it. There are many books. Tales of Snails, a storybook. Snails do not have tails. A scientific refutation. Could snails help your garden? Um, not really. And a signed copy of the history of humans and monsters by Gerson Boone. Okay, so this is, I think... I'm not, I don't want to say anything yet, but I'm, I kind of want to give my th the doors locked. My theory is that this is a sequel and we're in the future and I don't know what happened to Frisk or anything, but I guess we'll find out later, maybe. I don't know. Oh, look, it's a bathroom. On the shower ledge, there's a small container of apple-scented shampoo and a gallon-sized container of pet shampoo. Okay. You, <laughs> you looked inside the sink cupboard. There's a can of Icy's Cool Boys Body Spray. Spray for the boys. Flamin' Hot Pizza Flavor. It seems to be almost entirely full. You looked inside the sink cover. There's... Okay. Well, that's interesting. That's like... Satire of Axe Body Spray, I'm guessing. <laughs> There's a photo on the fridge. It's of you, your mother, and your brother. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. Okay, so I have a brother. That's who the other bed is for. There's some cinnamony batter caked on the stove top. Cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters and gingerbread humans. Interesting. It's a trash can. Somehow it's emitting a pleasant floral scent. Interesting. Oh. This is pretty cool. It's a landline phone, but you already have a cell phone. <laughs> it's Cherry L, the beloved living room chair. It's the TV. Doesn't seem to be plugged in. You and me plugged in anymore. Excuse me. Okay, can we go through this door? Chris, there you are. We might still be able to make it. Chris, it is a beautiful day today, is it, is it not? I hope it stays this way when Astriel visits next week. But I wonder, after the excitement of the university, will you still enjoy coming home to this little town? Astriel? <laughs> is that Undyne? Is she a cop? Of course she would be a cop. She's perfect for that job. Because she's a badass.
Aww. He gave me a hug. Okay, it's Alphys. Um, so, does everyone have a... So... Uh, oh, Chris, we thought you weren't coming today. We're doing this... We're doing group projects this month. Uh, so walk around and find a partner, okay? Computers, wallpapers, a rotating slideshow of nature images. And, rarely, an image of two buff superheroes embracing, blushing. <laughs> Classic Alphys. You check the time. It seems to be time for class. Crisp! Oh, Versar's Tim. Oh, this is Timmy. Crisp! Oh, Versar's Tim. How are you, have partner? It's an egg. It's a black and white hard boiled egg. Sadly, it seems like it already has a partner. <laughs> ah, Chris. Late again, I see. Hmm, you need a partner. Sorry, I'm already partners with the second smartest student. Though, wait, Chris, now that I think about it, your unique skill set might help a lot in this assignment. Pfft, not. I actually want to get an A. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, Chris, what's up? Did you lose your pencil again? Here. You want the candy cane one or the one with lights on it? Huh? You want to be partners? Um, sorry, Birdly already asked me. But, <laughs> Birdly? But I could ask Miss Alphys if we can make a group of three. I'll ask if you're sure. Not yet. Yeah, I'm sure there's someone else you can ask. I want to talk to everybody first. Quick, quick, tap, tap. Tegan. Chris, you know, Jock you know Jockington and Caddy are always partners. We're the ultimate academic duo ever since our first gym class. It was hula hoop day, and they ran out of hoops for us. So she used me instead. That's our origin story. Okay. Let's go talk to these two people over here. Yo, Chris, show up earlier next time. I ended up having to partner with Snowy, haha. Uh -huh. Now he keeps turning me and turning to me and saying, Howdy partner, like a cowboy. Partner? I hardly know her. Ha ha ha, what do you think of that one? Funny, right? No? Well, I got news for you, pal. I already got a partner. Scram! Guess I'm stuck with you. Do you want to be partners? Yes. Okay, I'll ask. It's Alphys. Um, is it okay if we have a group of three? Hey, what? No, I do not approve of this. Abort! What? But Chris doesn't have a... Oh, well, what were you saying? She's just... She was saying we're just... We're fine being alone. Uh, actually, I just wanted to know if... Oh, well, can you please speak up? Uh, hi, Susie. Hi. Uh, oh, no. You're fine. We, we were just, uh, choosing partners for the next group project, and... Um, Susie, you're with Chris. Great. Now that everyone's here, I'll make the assignment. Uh, has anyone seen the chalk? This is the third time it's gone missing, and you know I can't start. You all know I can't start class without some. Uh, how about this? If no one speaks up. Everyone gets in trouble. Nobody cares. Not anyone? Please? Hey, there might be a box in the supply closet. Miss Alphys, why don't Susie and I? G good idea. <sighs> Sorry, everyone. G good idea, Noelle. This is Susie. You, since you came in last, why don't you go get it for me? <laughs> Whatever. And Chris, can you go with her and make sure she... Sorry guys, there's a freaking cockroach. Anyways. <laughs> and C Chris, can you go with her and make sure she um, actually gets it and um, stays out of trouble? Thanks Chris, see you later. Okay. You know, I would, like, have a little conversation with these people, but most of them were just like, you know, oh, I'll talk to Timmy. I heard blood again when it's a feeling of pity towards you. Subscribe me, said I never hatch. I'm sorry. Yo, Chris, I'm sorry. 
Yo, Chris, I'm sorry. If I had a partner, if I had just waited for be your partner, you wouldn't have to be hers. She's gonna pound you to pieces, Chris. And then kick the butts out of all these little pieces. All those little pieces. Okay, I'm just gonna... Uh... Yeah, alright. Wait, you have the chalk. Chris, didn't see you there. Hey, you didn't see anything just now, did you? You're a klepto. That's okay, though. Hmm. I can't even say. I like to think that most of us are actually neurodivergent and don't even know it. Chris? Hey. Let me tell you a secret. Quiet people piss me off. You think just because you don't say anything, I can't tell exactly what you're thinking? It's over. I caught Susie eating all the chalk. This was her last chance. Now she'll finally be expelled. Haha, <laughs> come on, Chris. Don't act shocked. You know it's true. Everyone's waiting for it. Everyone wants it. So congrats, Chris. You got me. I'm done for. Just let me say one little thing. Seems like a waste to get expelled just for having a snack. So, Chris... So, Chris, if I know you're gonna pull the trigger... <laughs> why don't I just get expelled for some real carnage? Chris, how do you feel... ...about losing your face? Nah. Chris, you've got a good mother. It'd be a shame to make her bury her child. Alright, let's get this over with. We'll get more chalk. We'll see you back to class, and then, Chris, you'll do our project. How's that sound? Good. Don't bother answering. Oh, I didn't get to press anything. If you haven't gotten it by now, your choices don't matter. Let's go, freak. The locker is locked. The locker is covered in Jockington memorabilia. Are you ready for the Sadie Hawkins dance? At this dance, all the chaperones wear giant hawk heads and screech at any students that make contact while dancing. <laughs> People put their mouth on that, you know. Chris? What? Realize the baby classroom is a better fit for you? Hey, actually, I should come with you. Maybe I'll find a better partner in there. Nah, actually, let's not. God, can you walk any slower or what? Nah, I get it. Not used to walking around without someone holding your hand? Come on, freak. Well, here's the closet. Too bad. We were just starting to have fun. Dot dot dot. Hey Chris, is it me or is it really dark in there? What's the hold up, Chris? Are you gonna go in or what? Fine. If you're not gonna be if you're gonna be a wimp, then I'll We're both going at the same time. See? Why are you so scared? There's nothing in here but old papers. Let's try to find the light switch. That's weird. I can't find the switch. Guess it's further in. Uh, kind of big for a closet, huh? You'd think we'd have reached the end by now. Hey, Chris. I think this closet's, uh, broken. There aren't any walls. Well, we've worked hard enough. Alpha just wants chalk so bad, she can get it herself. Let's split. The door closes, I'm guessing. Yep. What the? Hey, this isn't funny. Let us out! Let us! 
the car, bitch. What the what? Did I get all dirty, or do I just... Did I don some armor? What the... At times, you see it flickering. The light. The light only you can see. By second nature, you reach out and... Okay. Interesting. What the fuck is happening? What the fuck is happening? With the creepy music and the ominous forebodingness and the who knows what's going on. Can I examine this? It's too dark to see anything. Great. Oh boy. There's an eyeball. I saw something move up there. Besides these weird wiggling things, it looks like it's somebody, something crawling away. Oh boy. Okay, I guess we gotta slip down this oil slick. Yep. Okay. Wish my controller worked. I hate it when I have to play with my keyboard. Okay, we'll go this way. Oh, there's a little sparkly light over here. Let's check it out. There's something glowing inside. Take it. Yes, you got the glow shard. Shimmering shard, it's useless unknown. We got interesting. Simply VFX. I don't know. Whatever. Alright, let's. Hold on, I saw something. Okay. So it looks like we may actually have to fight in this one instead of just acting and sparing. I don't know. It's too dark to see anything. Because you get powers as well as equipment upgrades, I'm assuming. Well, I mean, you get that in Undertale, too. Okay. What the fuck was that? I looked away from my screen for a second. Okay, now I'm getting hit by dumb stuff. You bathe your body in the light. The power shines within you, breaking through the darkness. The pain you had melted away, HP fully restored. Eye puzzle. Okay. In this land, only eyes blinded by darkness can see the way. Okay, I think it tells you how to do the puzzle with these, like what order to go in, but I was just like, whatever, and it just worked out, so, I mean, I would have left the room and reset the puzzle if I had to. Yay, we're not going to be able to go back. Cool. Wait, can we? Nope. What the heck is this? Uh, okay then. Oh, there was another weird thing that just happened, and there was another one. I feel like these are just sleeping blobs. Am I killing them? I just want to see if they have items. Hey, back off. Come any closer. <coughs> Sorry. Hey, back up. But back off. Come any closer and I'll... To Chris. Phew. Hey, that don't, don't scare me like that, dumbass. Unless you want to get clocked in the face. <laughs> anyway, and I'm screwing around. We gotta find a way out of here. Why are our clothes all different? Um, where is here anyway? It doesn't matter. 
It doesn't matter. You got us. You got us into this mess. You get us out. Lead the way, Chris. All right, we got a party member. I guess. Maybe. I don't know. Oh my God. Never mind. You walk way too slow. Yeah, I noticed. It's annoying me too. Whoa, that's cool. The background with the rocks doing whatever the rocks are doing. Anyway. Hey, Chris, there's someone up there waving at us. Any idea what they want? Oh, Jeebus. What are we gonna do? Come on, Chris. Hey, look, I can run now. Uh, how long does this go on for? Okay, good. Chris, down here. My face when I have to survive with my bully in some weird freaking place. We're forced to almost be friends in a way. Interesting. Okay. Alright, Susie, what are we doing now? Oh, you're not dead. Sweet. <laughs> got, any got, any got any idea what this place is? Yeah, I can talk. I can talk today. <laughs> Me neither. wonder if there's anyone in that building up there. Uh, right, you want me to go see? It looks like a shop, but the door is locked and no one's inside. Okay. In front of you, a castle looms beneath the empty town. A black geyser emerges from it, piercing endlessly into the sky. The power of this place shines within you. Alrighty then. A castle? Why the hell is there a castle inside a supply closet? Welcome, heroes. Who's there? Do not be alarmed. I am not your enemy. Please come forward. Both of you. Welcome. I am the prince of this kingdom. The kingdom of darkness. Chris, Susie, there is a legend in this land. A legend that one day two heroes of light will arrive and fulfill the ancient prophecy foretold by time and space. Please, heroes, listen to my tale. No! Okay. Very well then. Once upon, a Once upon a time, a legend was whispered among shadows. It was a legend of hope. It was a legend of dreams. It was a legend of light. It was a legend of dark. This is the legend of Deltarune. For millennia, light and dark have lived in balance, bringing peace to the world. But if this harmony were to shatter, a terrible calamity would occur. The sky will ruin, the sky will run black with terror, and the land will crack with fear. Then, her heart pounding, the earth will draw her final breath. Only then, shining with hope, Three heroes appear at world's edge. A human, a monster, and a prince from the dark. Oh, that must be you. Okay. Only they can seal the fountains and banish the angel's heaven. Only then will balance be restored and the world saved from destruction. 
Today, the fountain of darkness, the geyser that gives this land form, stands tall at the center of the kingdom. But recently, another fountain has appeared on the horizon. And with it, the balance of light and dark begins to shift. Chris, Susie, thank you for listening to my long tale. I deeply believe you two are the heroes of the legend, that despite whatever enemies you may face, you two have come have the courage to save the world. Delta Warriors, please, won't you accept your destiny? Uh, nah. W what? Me? Some kind of hero or something? You've got the wrong person. But, but Susie, without you, the, the world will. So what? If the world gets destroyed, it's none of my damn business. Might even be kind of fun, honestly. Anyway, Chris, if you want to play pretend with this weirdo, stick around. I'm going to find a way out of here. Susie, wait. Oh ho ho! The heroes are already running away, and they didn't even know I was here. My dad's gonna make me son of the month. Who the hell are you? I'm the bad guy. You clowns want to steal our dark fo seal our dark fountain, huh? And still picturing you guys as clowns, save the world from eternal darkness, huh? Eh. Don't try to deny it. We both know you'll go east. That's your only way home. But I, Lancer, won't let you get there. And I've got a flawless two-step plan to ensure it. Step one, I thrash you. Step two, you lose. Hmm, nice plan, kid. R really? Yeah, actually. Mind if we use it on you instead? Holy shit balls! Lancer busted. Uh, what am I supposed to, I don't know, let's just say, warning, you tell Lancer to watch out for Susie's attack, he readies himself. Uh, oh, cl oh, clowns, this bike is fueled by victory. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, do you know how I got an axe, but like, that's cool. What do I do? I love to get thrashed. Just kidding, that's you. Oh shit, I wasn't prepared. What the flip balls? Are you supposed to fight in this game? I don't know. Alright, compliment. You tell Lancer you can't tell the difference between his clothes and his body. He seems flattered. His attack power went down. Oh. Oh, you make my feeling. Oops. Whatever. That's just motorcycle. It's actually just a bike that's on fire. I wanted to hit spare. Whoops. See what happens. Ho ho ho! I'm the bad guy! Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. We already knew that. Wait, wait a second. My bike's running out of fuel. Alright, you punkaroos. You had the luck of this. You had the luck of the draw this time, but next time the losers will be you! Ha ha ha! Bye, losers! I gotta get home before dinner! You won. Got zero XP and 41 deep dollars. Are you two okay? Um, allow me to introduce myself more properly. I am... Jeez... Oh. Allow me to introduce myself more properly. I am... Jeez, can you take off that hood? I can barely hear you under there. Um, alright. Hello everyone, I'm Ralse. Chris, Susie, it's ever so wonderful to meet you. I'm certain we're going to become great friends and... Best way to leave is East, right? Yes, that's where we'll... Got it. See you at school, Chris. Um... I suppose it's just the two of us then. 
Empress. I'm a prince, but I um, currently don't have any subjects. I've been waiting alone here um, my whole life up for you two to arrive. So I'm really happy to meet you. I hope we can be good friends, Chris. Let's try to find Susie. She must be to the southeast. You can lead the way, Chris. Hey, Chris, I really think we should catch up with Susie. We can come back here after our adventure is over, and then I can bake you a yummy cake. Sure. Say, the lonely prince is now your ally. The power of fluffy boy shines within you. Okay. Er, Chris, you know you can hold B to run? Really? Right, you'll move faster by holding B. And I'll be right behind you, so don't worry. Unless you want to get away, in which case, sorry. Holy shitballs. Well, that's the useful information. Oh, Chris, it's the training dummy I made. Now seems like a great chance to prepare you for the enemy. Would you like me to teach you how to fight? Yes. Okay, get ready, Chris. See that heart, Chris? That's your soul, the culmination of your being. Within, it holds your will, your compassion, and the fate of the world. If it gets hit, you and your friend will lose HP. If everyone's HP reaches zero, we'll lose it, we'll lose the battle. So, please take care to avoid the enemy's attack. Ready? Let's try dodging. Come on. Great job, Chris. You're a natural. Anyhow, after the enemy attacks, it's our turn, Chris. First, I'll teach you how to fight. Though fighting is unnecessary in this world, there's no harm in a thorough lesson. Let's try fighting. Wow, Chris, that was an amazing attack. Have you done something? Have you done this before or something? <laughs> okay, let's try to next. Let's try defending. Simply shield, and the enemy's attack will hurt you less. Not only that, but you also gather TP. Ha! TP for my bunghole. <laughs> Watch the orange big bar on the left. I'll explain it next. Great job, Chris. Now that you've gathered TP. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, how about spending that TP on one of my spells? Sure, because you hit the enemy enough it got tired. Now if I use my pacify spell on it, it'll fall asleep and we'll win peacefully. Let's try spells. Pacify. Okay. Um, Ralsei cast pacify. Great, Chris. We would have won the battle by now. Now I have just a little more to teach you. Acting, though this, even the most of, through this, even the most violent enemies can be defeated through various acts of kindness. Chris, though it's just a dummy, why not give it a hug? Let's act, dummy. Now I'm gonna... <laughs> you hug, Ralph, say. C Chris? Um, I don't think, um, this is what you're supposed to be doing, but... Let's... <laughs> All right, you hug the dummy. Oh, that's great, Chris. Each enemy has different acts that satisfy them. When an enemy is satisfied, its name turns yellow. When that happens, you can defeat it by sparing it. If we spare, all the enemies we meet will never have to fight. Well, that's cool. Chris spared dummy. Great job, Chris. That would be the end and that would be the end in a real battle. I'm really happy I had the chance to teach you, Chris. I'm glad I learned because I was so confused. You won. You got zero XP and three dollars. Three dollars? How did the dummy have money? <laughs> oh, that was fun. You're a wonderful student, Chris. And er, in case you ever need a refresher, I here I wrote a manual for you and Susie. Press this button to open the menu and use it in your items. You got the manual. All right, let's go. It's just a dummy. All righty. Adventure time. To this door. Where, oh my, the great door is open? No wonder Lancer was able to come through. Chris, once we pass through this door, our adventure will really begin. A journey foretold exactly by the prophecy. But Chris, I believe your choices are important too. This world is full of all kinds of people, Chris. 
In the end, how we treat them makes all the difference. So let's try our best to get by without fighting. If we can manage to do that, I believe this tale may have a happy ending. Otherwise, I fear that you may not find the result favorable. Oh, I'm sorry, is that too much to ask? I can handle it. Chris, I knew you were a hero the moment I saw you. Let's try our best, all right? I hope Susie is the one that opened the door and got through. Whoa, this is, those are some trees, that's for sure. I was gonna say they're weird, but they're kinda cool. And they might be, I suppose, they might be modeled after Sakura trees in Japan. I don't know. With the door closed behind you, your adventure will truly be in. The power of adventure shines within you. Yay! Field, great door. Alright, we can run now. I mean, I guess we probably always had that ability, I just learned of it now. Field of hopes and dreams. Enemies ahead, you're gonna die, Signed Lancer. I'm just listening to the song, hold on. You can skip ahead if you want. Okay, let's go. Do I have to? Rudin drew near. Convince. Okay, Ralph's it. You told Rudin to quit fighting. It was utterly swayed. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Uh, okay. Rudin is glimmering plainly. Okay, Chris spared Rudin. So I control both the characters in fights. I got it. But I only control Chris's uh, soul when he's like trying to dodge bullets and shit. That makes sense. If you're reading this, I guess you're dead. Signed, Lancer. Uh, okay, sure, that's logical. I keep forgetting to hold down B to run. Can we change that? Uh... No? Yeah, there we go. Cool, awesome. Hey, don't read the sign. It's a work in progress. Sign Lancer. Ho ho ho! Ho ho ho, if it isn't my two favorite people. Psych, you guys aren't even in my top five. Lancer, where's Susie? You mean the purple girl? Ho ho ho. You fools, you're too late to stop me. What did you do? Ha ha ha, it was so simple. It was so simple. She beat me up, so I ran away. That's a bit anticlimactic. No, we don't have to fight you? So you're just going to stand there? I thought you would at least run to the right. Why? The purple girl's over there. Oh, the purple girl's over there. That's who we're looking for. Okay. These types of trees don't contain an item that can heal you. Whatever you do, don't check the tree and use this button to open your menu. You got- yeah, yeah, yeah. There are two objects hanging from the tree. Take one. You got the dark candy. Cool, thank you. We got candy, motherfucker. You couldn't stop us. Blah, 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 blah. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> hey, if you head that way, my troops will thrash you. Is that a threat? I prefer to think of it as an invitation. Let's go, I'm not scared. A necklace of Rudin's blocks your path. You can't act, Relse? Just defend, then. You told Rudin to quit fighting. It was utterly swayed. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I'm just a normal person. Rudin has no strong opinions one way or the other. Oh, shit! 
Freaking god damn it. Freaking soapy water up my hands because I had to. Freaking cockroaches, man. I'm a germaphobe and I have a bottle of soapy water next to where I'm sitting just in case a freaking cockroach shows up and I have to swat it away. Those things are, by the way, in case you didn't know, those things are just literally covered in germs because all they do is get into really dirty places and they, they haven't evolved to the point where they know how to bathe, so they never do that. Not that they really have much opportunity to anyway because they just crawl in random places. Anyways. Um, all right, we need to convince you not to fight us. I told Rudin to quit fighting. It was utterly swayed. Rel say, spared Rudin. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Rudin is glimmering plainly. Cool, we did it. We did it, we did it, we did it, yay! The remains of the cake are still smoldering. Take a piece. Start putting a cake in your pockets is a bad idea. Mamma Miba, I'm Top Chef! My latest cake worked me to exhaustion. So I took a little nap, but Mamma Miba, a scary noise woke me up! A beast was hunched on the table, eating the cake like an animal. I spritzed it with water and it hissed and ran off, but my wonderful cake is... Oh, Chris, that sounds like Susie. We must be going the right way. Let's try to keep her... Let's try to keep her out of any more trouble. Alright. I'm gonna take a piece of cake. The broken cake was added to your key items. You again. And something else. Rudin and Hathi blocked the way. Rudin and Happy walked away. You told Rudin to quit fighting. It was utterly swayed. I guess that makes sense. Heart. Uh. Okay. Happy's body beats audibly. Flatter. Happy's body beats audibly. You told Hathi it has cool tentacles. I began to think about this. I'm gonna the guy who pays us. Hathi smiled a darling smile. Chris spared Rudin. Rousey spared Hathi. You won. Got zero XP and sixty-eight dollars. Um, I guess we don't need to heal up right now. There's a two object thing in the tree. Take one. Can we get some more candy? No, that's okay. Check the clock. In order to solve this puzzle, you'll have to hurry. Uh. What the heck? Uh, Chris, um, you didn't forget, did you? That you can run by holding B? I'm already doing that. There we go. <sighs> maze of death. Behold, the maze of death. Prepare to get lost, clown. Get lost, clown. Sign Lancer. Uh. Getting lost yet? You must be utterly helpless among these twists and turns. Your sense of direction won't si save you now. Sign Lancer. Hey, wait. Where am I? Help. Somebody help. I'm lost. <laughs> You open the treasure chest. Inside was white ribbon. You put the white rib you put white ribbon in your armors. 
go over his armor, Chris. It increases defense. Why don't you try wearing it in the equipment menu? I think he'd look great on you. Thanks. A crinkly hair ribbon that slightly increases your defense. Cuteness goes up. All right. Whoa, wait a minute. Even if you're my enemy, I've got to warn you. A purple beast is roaming, clob roaming clobbering anyone who dares walk our way. We don't even like fighting, but the king left us no choice. Oh, Chris, we need to stop Susie quick. Excuse me. Hey, don't look. This sign's private. Sign Lancer. Oh, it's just... Oh, it's just this way. Sign Lancer. Ho, ho, ho! Somehow you survived the maze. But don't count your blessings before they hatch. Let's see how fair you... Let's see how you fare against this team. Okay. What does this do? You order Ralsei to flatter all the enemies. Old of anyone, I'm glad we randomly encountered all of you. Hey, that works. Hey, why aren't you guys thrashed? You're totally outnumbered. You made a team you made a team purely of support enemies. Their bullet patterns aren't balanced at all. It's like a dinner made out of three glasses of milk. And that's um unusual somehow? Why don't we talk about this after the battle? Matthew's whispering a lovely spell. Ow! I wasn't expecting to get attacked. Good job, Chris. We earned zero XP and eighty-four dollars. Sweet. How much do I get? You lost, Lance, so you don't get any. Oh. Can I have some of yours? No. Fine. Later, losers. Suck. I thought you were running away. Yeah, I finished. <laughs> Lazy. He's like the worst, most comical, comically funny villain ever. Uh, will you stop stepping on this stuff? Well, um, Chris, I think we might be missing something. Maybe we should try going to the next room. Open up, you stupid door! Oh, great, it's you guys! Susie, we were, we were so worried about you! Um, how'd you get past those spikes before? Walk to him. But this door sucks! Oh, well, don't worry, Susie. It'll open after we solve the puzzle over there. Nice, tell me when you finish it. Oh, uh, Susie, we need you to finish it. Sometimes proceeding will take all three of us. Furthermore, only Chris can seal the dark fountain. So if you don't accompany us, you won't make it home. So you're saying I have to stick with you guys? Yup. Lame. <laughs> Let's just get this over with. Yahoo! Susie's back on the team. Cue the fanfare. Susie joined the party. Yay! Now it feels like a real RPG. <laughs> Susie follows at a distance such that no one can tell she's associated. Yeah! Alright! Good for Susie. Welcome to the team, Susie. Sound like a door opened. 
Oh, Chris, I just realized Susie missed the tutorial. Next battle, we should show her how to act. I think she might really enjoy that. C round, attacked violently. Recall Ralsei's advice to include Susie in an act. You ordered Susie to flatter the enemy. What? Why the hell would I do that? It, it, it attacked us! Let's smash it before it moves! Oh, look, Susie, it seems harmless. If you act nice, we might win without hurting it. Okay, okay. Hey, little guy. I really like the axe in your face. Um, Chris, maybe I should talk to her. I, I pressed X, go forward too fast to see what that line of dialogue was. <laughs> I sneak by and made a sign. Sign Lancer. Well, Susie, I suppose you missed what I said earlier. As heroes, we have the power to make a peaceful future. So from now on, let's try to avoid fighting, okay? Um, what if you just took it easy on them? You, you weaken an enemy, I can use my pacify smell, which can put exhausted people to sleep. Yeah, you talking is already doing that. Well, um, just think about it. You might have to warn enemies about her, Chris. Hey, hey kid. You wanna buy a tutorial? It's only 50 dark dollars. Sure. But really? You'll buy it? <laughs> right this way, gentle gentleliners. Chris, I we're normally puzzle guys, but we've been forced to make tutorials just to make ends meet. When the king got power, he fired everyone, replaced all puzzle makers with him. Luxel's card, Lord of the Puzzles. Be careful. Donation hole. If you like our tutorials, please throw your money into a hole. Decide to save the dollar for a different hole. Hole goals. Dollar monthly tutorial weekly. Weekly ten dollars. Weekly tutorial monthly. A hundred dollars. Stop making tutorials. I'm Chris Master. Ask me about Chris's. Uh, reviving. When HP goes negative. Your friends fall down, but bringing them back is easy town. Plain foods and simple, plain foods and spells work like a charm, and with a mint you can cure all harm. Even normal items and spells can revive people, huh? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's a good idea to give us bucks. It'll make you happy and fill you with lux. Over there is our donation hole. We had a box, but it got stole. How much money do I have? Oh. I'm Susie Master. Ask me about Susie's warning. When Chris uses warning, Susie can't hit, so make sure to... So there's no reason to use it. Unless, unless you want it not to hurt. So there's no reason! In fact, Susie loves when you give us money. She will... Nope, don't care. Did I say something funny? Did I say something funny? Susie always attacks the foe on top. She'll smash them with a crushing chop. She always strikes at the first thing she sees. Oh no, oh no, she's looking at me! Ask me about Ralsei's Pacify. Ralsei's spell is called Pacify. Use it on babies before they cry. What? It safely removes a tired enemy from combat. What if you're fighting a- What if you're fighting a baby? <laughs> uh... Ralsei loves when you give us money. He will hug you and call you honey. Hey, that's not true. You don't need money to get me to do that. <laughs> Healing. Ralsei has a spell that heals, dude. Why use that when you can eat food? Because you won't have to use up an item? I, I could avoid it all those empty calories? I'm TP Master. Ask me about TPs. What's TP? TP? What's TP? Toilet paper. <laughs> that's, what, that's what lets you cast spells, see? When you see that orange bar, cast some spells when it's filled up far. TP, it's quite a caper. TP stands for toilet paper. Yeah. No, it stands for tension points. What, really? 
I'm TP Master, as I'm gaining TP. You get TP when you defend. Protect yourself and cast spells, friend. You can also get TP by getting close to bullets. Look for the hard outline when you get close to bullets. You run bullets with bullets. But because it's important. TP only lasts inside a fight. Once you win, it's out of sight. Having extra feels unbearable. No point in saving, it's straight up terrible. Well, leftover TP turns into extra money at the end of the battle. I mean, I, I sh only should have been using one square? Okay. The king didn't even give us severance pay. His son just gave us all beanies. Itchy beanies. I'm sorry. Shut up. Hee hee. Welcome, travelers. Talk. Don't have anything better to do. Wait. The name's Sham. Pronounce Sham. And this is my little shop. <laughs> Over the years, I've collected odds and ends. Of course, I have no attachment to, attachment to any of it. It's just a hobby of mine. Around here, you learn to find ways to pass the time, or go mad like everyone else. Lightners. Long ago, the Darkners lived in harmony with the Lightners. They were like gods to us, our protectors, our creators, those who gave us purpose. Then one day, we were all locked away in this prison, and the Lightners have never returned. Embittered, the king took up arms and aims to take revenge upon the Lightners that left us behind. Of course, even among his troops, some still distantly hope the Lightners will return. Historically, this land was ruled by the four kings from Cod Castle to the east. But recently, a strange knight appeared, and three of the kings were locked away. The remaining king put him in his, put him and his strange son into power. This land hasn't seen this much chaos since. Ha ha ha! Well, you don't need to know about that. Interesting. We're legendary. Ha ha ha! So you are the heroes who are going to seal our fountain. <laughs> Good luck. It makes no difference to me. Neither light nor dark hold a future for a darkner in my condition. Exit. Oh, you'll willingly buy stuff from me. That's cool. I have six places in my inventory. Spooky sword. Weapon and black and orange. Chris can hold it. Gives him to attack. Armor defensive charm. The armor I have is better than the amber card. I can give it to these two, though. I'll get one. Dark burger. Mysterious hamburger. That heals 70 HP. I'm gonna let it go at that for now. Save the rest of my money. Alright, ladies, germs, gentlemen, uh, uh, everyone else, and everything else, if you're a non human object for some reason, uh, maybe in the future AI will have consciousness and they'll watch this one day. Who knows? In any case, Thanks for watching. This is going to end episode one of my Deltarune Let's Play. Uh, I'm going to save Susie. The, the Violent Tormentor is now your ally. The power of Mean Girls shines within you. I'm a little bit worried about what we're going to do with Susie being in our party, wanting to attack all the time, but with the warning thing, maybe we can work something out. I don't know. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time for Deltarune Chapter 2. And I'll see you in the next episode of this. Uh, hang on. Have a great...